At the beginning of 2023, Xilence has made an interesting move. First, they developed a new fan. And then they decided to slap that thing onto everything. New CPU air cooler, slap. New case fan, slap. New AIO, slap. It's an all-rounder fan. It's the XF082 or XPF. 120XB.PVM spinning at 1500 RPM with 63 CFM because a cool model name would have been a bit too much to ask. But before we dive any deeper, let's take a look at how this thing performs. Letting it spin at its max rate at 1500 RPM on our hybrid case almost heatsink benchmark showed that although they made quite a lot of advances, they did not manage to outperform the majority of our list. At 52.6 degrees C above ambient, the new XPF120X barely made it into the lower third of our list, but considering that it's only about a degree and a half behind the Arctic P12, it's actually not that bad. Not shockingly good, surely not, but almost a P12 is quite a good badge to have. And at this point, I would also like to point out the huge gap that Silence made going from their last case fan to the new one. Six and a half degrees C is, is kinda good. Our numbers are quite inflated given how we benchmark, but it's still quite the jump. Usually we can divide the number by three to get what an actual build would perform like, so uh, in this case two degrees C difference is still uh, something that I would want for my PC. Max performance aside, it's the noise 2 performance graph where we can distinguish the good from the bad. And on here, the XPF120X doesn't look bad at all. Although it is still miles away from something like a Noxia NF-A12X25, the Xilence is almost always ahead of RTX P12. In the beginning, from 100 to about 80% of its max speed, the P12 was better. But once we tuned it below that 80% mark, the Xilence fan really showed its worth. And also compared to other fans, it was significantly more interesting than we expected. For example, Bits Power Griffin fans, which are like Noctua level of expensive, but the Xilence was almost as good. And then it was a lot quieter. Plus, just look at the difference between the older XPF120 ARGB and this newer fan. That's the progress that I want to see going from one generation to another. So, performance-wise, it's definitely not the best fan out there. Now, let's not paint a pretty picture here. It's miles away from something like an A12. But for a case fan, it's really not that bad either. Considering the price difference, it's definitely better suited than, let's say, a Griffin, for example. And it beats the P12 for the majority of the run, which is already something. But let's now take a look at the fan itself. It comes in the usual Xilent style packaging, very simple, small packaging without any shenanigans, and including some of that design process type illustration, which I definitely enjoy. On the back, however, we will find Xilent's old nemesis, a full spec sheet. I just don't get why it's impossible for Xilent to write down every relevant number, uh, like one is always missing. I just don't get why they never state the static pressure. Like, we know it's an up to 1500 RPM fan, we know it's 63.41 CFM and 22 dB, which is a number you can just throw away. But okay, wh why not give us the static pressure? But after doing hours and hours of research and by the help of Xilent slapping these fans onto basically everything they develop right now, I was able to find out that if you go to the product page of their new AIO and you download the full performance X-Series datasheet, you will find out that these fans are pushing up to 1.58 millimeters of H2O. Ha! I found you. But this makes things quite interesting now because 1.58 is not what you usually see for radiator fans. 
so that AIO that we are going to have a look at is going to be a fun one. But back to the fan. Inside the box we will get the fan itself accompanied by a tiny bag of screws. To get the fans going we have a 450mm long PVM cable which is nicely sleeved, which is great. Not the be quiet level of connector, great, but still okay. Quality wise the fan is somewhat like I expected it to be. Feels relatively sturdy, it has a bit of rubber around the screw holes and doesn't bend too easily when force is applied a bit like a P12 level of, of quality. It's okay. But the wing design is pretty interesting this time around. Very unlike what Xylens pushed out in the past, this fan comes with significantly shorter wings which have like a double bend to them. Like first they make a regular bend back like all the fans do normally, but then at the very end it has like a little short uplift. It, it, it makes like a little boop. I don't know, but I did not yet see this on an all-rounder solution. Usually this is like special and especially not on like radiators or heat sinks, but uh, this is quite interesting. But hey, there are airflow helping indentations on each blade now. Generally, I don't see anything wrong with the fan's quality and I also appreciate the very simple, almost black design they have going now. But now let's get to the new section, which is triggered in script writing the moment I see too many buzzwords on a product page or box. Let's read what the manufacturer wrote. The Xylens 120mm FTP fan is ideal for gaming adventures. The elegant design of the black case fan blends elegantly into all PC builds and the embossed metallic Xylens logo also enhances the look. Like Jokes aside, I think they are right. Like The metallic uh, Xylens logo uh, looks a lot better than the old white sticker that they had. It, it looks much better quality like type thing, it has a touchy feeling, it, it, it's nice, it's, it's a good job. Thanks to the fluid dynamic bearing technology, the XPF 120X.B.PWM has extremely high running accuracy. Does anybody really care that much about running accuracy? Like is 59 RPM not 50.05 or 1495? Like why would I care? and runs particularly smoothly so that only a barely perceptible whisper of the cooling airflow is perceived. The vibration is optimally dampened by the integrated rubber pads on the case fan. The streamlined design on the rotor blades allow the air to circulate even better. The fans can be mounted in the case as well as on a radiator or a CPU cooler. So the gaming can also be enjoyed in silence. On our craptastic scale, I would give them like a 2 out of 10. They never said anything uh, which wasn't true, but they definitely decorated that text elegant, elegantly, optimally, gaming adventurous. <laughs> so performance wise, Max performance could have been a bit better, I'm kind of disappointed in that regard, but on the Noise 2 performance graph, the new XPF 120XB PWM, PVM, PVM, definitely won me back to some degree. It's still far off an A12, but for the majority of, of runs it does beat a P12, and it's comparable to a bits power griffin, so really not that bad of a result. Especially because of the price. Right now I can get one of those for $9.99, which is great considering what a griffin or any noctua or any high class fan would cost you. $9.99 is really not a bad price tag. The problem is just Arctic, like the, the price of the P12 Max is... Yeah, that's an issue for everybody who's making budget fans now. So, for the recommendation, I think it's like the next step after a P12. If you're shopping on a budget and you have a P12, and this is like the next go-to thing after that, the XPF 120X does come like after the P12, the problem now is just that I recorded the P12 Max video like a week ago, so it's like the P12 Max is the one after the P12 uh, price to performance wise, so it, it's like a bit of an issue now, but still, I can recommend it, it's just do not expect it to be like an upper class fan, but you can expect it to be more efficient in noise to performance compared to AP12. But okay, this should be it for Xylens and their new XPF 120X or XF082 fan because they still require two different names. 
At this point, a huge thank you to Xilence for sending it over. On a side note, we also have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is in the description below. And of course, we still have membership, so if you're looking for a good way to support the channel by keeping everything afloat, that's a really good way to go and we would really appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for watching, but if you want to continue, have a look at our tag on Xilence's M705D. That's what, like one of my favorite CPU coolers out there. Price to performance is just insane with that one. But hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.